All right, today's video was just on making some inlays. This was the one I ended up doing today, but there's so many different choices. It, there's a couple more that I've done before, and you can do it just with birch plywood, or these are three, uh, half inch plywood. And you can see a few of the others there. Once you start getting more complex, it starts to get quite a bit harder, but all you gotta make sure is if the squares get too small or if the little things get too small is just to take them out of the picture because you can't even pick them up out of the laser without breaking them. I just wanted to show there's a few of the ones that I've done. And then I'll like say today's one I've got on video was this one, not the frame, just the but that's just a simple frame. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. First, I just went to Google and picked something that had an outline like this. I went with something pretty simple, so the video ain't too long. And then just copy that image. You can actually copy it right off of Google. But anyway, copy that and then paste it into Lightroom. Uh, Lightburn, sorry. Now left click it and right click it. So trace image. Make sure it's done a pretty good job. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to say OK. Split these two up. I'm going to keep that for a minute. It's on a different layer anyway. So you can see this is our. Let me quickly do a preview of this. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do? Take this outside, and then. I'll show you from there on the laser. But yeah, that's how simple it is just to cut the design out. Okay, I'm outside. I just wanted to show that's the design on there. If I'm etching something deep like that, I like to put it right in the center of the laser, right above where the fan is. It seems to suck it out a lot better. So, And then I've got that set to a 300 speed and a 30 power. I'll just get this up so you can see. Yes, yeah, so that's all the settings, no curve offset or anything for any of this, so that's how I'm going to send it and that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, the design's in the laser now. I've got it at a 300 speed and a 30 power, that should be deep enough to fit my veneer in. Um, I've got no, like low air on, low volume air. So I'm going to press start and, and see how that goes. Okay, you can see that's how it's came out. It's got a little bit burnt around the edge. You got, I could have, um, I could have taped it off, but when you after you put the veneers in, then it all needs sanding anyway to get it match up the right level. So I'm going to leave that for now until the sanding right at the end. So I'll go back to the computer and show you how I would cut this out now. Okay, so what I would do now is. This is when cut selected graphics comes in really handy. So make sure you got that ticked. And then I'm gonna do this stem first. Oh, it's all together, so all you gotta do is ungroup it. I'm gonna move the stuff as I do it, so I know I've done it. I'm gonna move this over here first. Um, set this correct. Really, I'm going to try a 25 speed and a 25 power, should be fine. I'll put air assist on, make sure it's on the line. I don't need to change the curve offset because it was etching. It's only gone up to the line, it hasn't cut over the line like it would if you was cutting the line. So that's why I haven't added the curve offset. Uh, let's just check everything else. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to send that. Okay, so the stem's in there ready to go. 25 speed, 25 power, air assist on. Okay, I'm gonna send that one more time because there's a little floor in the corner of that one. I'm gonna try and fit it in there. One thing, after it's cut out, you just gotta be really careful with it because these break pretty easy, so. 
Just, just watch out. Try not to grab it too hard. And you can see that goes in there pretty well. I'm going to move that back out of the way. And cut the others. So I'll just quickly do this one last time on the computer. And then basically it's the same each time. Today. Yeah, this one is a pretty simple design. Oh, let me just get that in focus. This is a pretty simple design. But if you've got quite a complex design, like before I've done like Spider-Man with all the little webs over him. And you don't want to send too many things at a time. And if something is too small, really you just want to get rid of it and not try and cut it. Because it really gets hard. So next I'm going to send this. So you can see I've just got that. I've got selected graphics. That worked for me so I'm going to stick with that. And I'm just going to send that one. Okay so now it's that one design in there. I'm going to send that, same speed, 25 speed, 25 power. Yeah, again, just be really careful picking them up. As well, it's a good idea to clear out the drawer down the bottom if you're cutting small parts. If they fall through and you've got a load of junk in there, it's hard to... It's hard to find little pieces. I'd say this is quite a simple design, but... I'm just going to put these ones in place. And you could glue them in as you go, but it's nice to glue them in at the end. And then you can um, sandwich it all together. So I'm just going to lay this in here for now, just so I know it's done. And then I'm just going to show you one quick thing when I send this. Rather than take up a whole or a big chunk of the material I'll just show the best way to okay if these last ones because they are so split up like this you don't want to waste the whole sheet or you know a big chunk of sheet you can just pick these up and move them oh. you just want to make sure they're not right on top of each other so they don't mess the one next to it up when you're cutting it I'll try I'm going to put that one there and this one down here just to save a bit of space select all them so now cut selected graphics yep send yep so this is the last piece in there the leaves you've got to be real careful with them ones you can see how thin they are on some of them Okay, next thing we're going to do is just give that a bit of a blow out, get these other parts out that I just put in there, blow these little sections out a bit and then put some glue in there. Yeah. I'm just using this and just apply it pretty thick or you know, just make sure it's all the way through. This excess can be wiped off or sanded off afterwards once we sand off the burn. But yeah, just make sure you've got a good amount in there. And then make sure your piece is up the right way. Just drop it in there carefully. Just give it a little bit of a push down for a minute. And then afterwards, a clamp clamp it and sandwich it in there just make sure it's in there a bit for now while we glue the others it's a good idea really to have these lined up where you need them see that's that one up the top there Okay, it's all in there. 
Now I'm just going to give that an extra little push in and then I'll show you the next day just sandwiching it. Trying to make sure it's all nicely seated in there. And still don't worry about it looking a mess because that's going to change in a minute. Yeah, so really, you want to put something that's, it don't matter, you know, it's not going to stick to too much. So I'm just going to put that down there, put a piece directly on top of it, and then just get a bunch of clamps, and clamp this all, all around. Alright, well it's been a while, I've got it trapped under this, but I'll put a bit of weight on top of it as well, so. Need to pin that middle down well, really. Right. Yeah, it didn't stick to it. I'm just gonna sand this off now, it should really clean it up. So, give me a second to do that. That was 80 grit. I'm just going to hit it with a bit higher grit. Yeah, it's going to get a quick 400 grit. Yeah. And then, it really brightens up nice when you uh, put a bit of oil on it. That's what I'm going to put you do. Just a bit of teak oil. Pour a little drop on there. Just give that a little spread around. See, it already brings out the colours in that wood. Yeah, and that's about it, really, for a simple one. You can do a much more detail. The only thing is that maybe make a frame, put it into a frame. Yeah, you can see there, it's pretty close to the edges. I mean, you might be able to, probably not though, so you might be able to mess with the curve offset a little bit, but. But yeah, you can make some nice designs with that. I'll show you a couple of the others that I've done indoors at the end. But yeah, that's roughly it. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll try and add some other videos as soon as possible. And thanks again.